It's had a pretty intense downpour. That didn't phase them. Don't worry about that. Everybody's okay. Let's see how the creek's doing. I want to do another golf ball. He ran a lot. Look at how the creek got already. Remember, it's just usually a trickle. We're supposed to get a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of rain. Okay, we're right there. So let's pick out the choice golf ball. What will it be? We need to see what's in an orange Callaway. Oh, that pink one's busted open already. We'll use it. There's kind of a elementary school vomit absorption color, orange. You know that stuff they used to sling on the floor when you was in elementary school? Yeah, we'll go with that. It's starting to rain harder. Let's go in. The dry spot. There is no thunder and no lightning, so they're safe. The minute I hear a sound in the sky, they're getting out. It's about to throw down out here, though. Okay, let's go inside. I'm gonna go ahead and open this Callaway since it's already. It looks like a uh, like a lawnmower has got into it, so. Jeez, I thought a wasp landed on my back, in case you wonder why I was stopping. Oh, this one's seen this better few minutes. So go ahead and snap it in half. Wow, I don't know what happened to this one. I guess I did run over with a lot more. See, one of my sons, my next to the oldest, takes all these golf balls I find. Hey, that was nasty. And we're gonna skip that one. Let's find another one. Golden Ram, Laser One. I just heard thunder, let me go check the weather. I'm gonna cut this one open. I've already started with my outline. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, uh, it'll take a few minutes, but it's still faster than the old razor blade. That is for sure. So now we see if it's easy to pop off. It's usually not on your first round. Uh, this one has a thin cover, that's kind of nice. So it's gonna come off easy and quick. I don't play the golf ball game. I hate to start new sports because I'm usually better than everybody else that plays. I'm just kidding. There it is. Oh, I just got a sweet idea. That almost looks like fingers on it. I don't know how well you can see that. Doesn't it look like fingers? So if you had like a hand coming out an arm coming out, the fingers going down. That, of course, is a pinky. Let's see if that's a pinky. Then the next finger, pretty good bit longer, isn't it? Then your next finger is your birdie. It's a lot longer. And the next one's a little bit shorter. This might not work out. Even if it doesn't work out, doesn't matter. You got this thumb. That's a pretty rough looking hand, isn't it? So once you get your hand, what's going to be under the hand? You know, there's really no way to know. 
right? Does it look like my hand? Of course it doesn't. That looks like <laughs> That's horrible. But we're gonna try it. You ready? Let's try it. I don't have a plan, but if you're gonna look at this and you're a pretty good carver dude or do that, then uh, maybe give you an idea. You could show me what what I could have done. What might have been? <sighs> so, still ran outside. I got the kids out of the pool. Did you have a little crunch of thunder and a little flash of lightning and my phone ringing? I forgot I was recording and walked away and started talking on the phone. Good thing it was in uh, time-lapse photos. So the question is... I don't know, does that look like a basketball? Maybe it does. A basketball and a golf ball. What do you think? Or would it be like that? I think like that. And you're Callaway. Booyah! What are you talking about? Okay, we'll try that out. Let me get a plan. What I want to do is uh, clean up around the fingers. And this little $40 Dremel 200 kit I bought doesn't have many options. But we're gonna go with that one, which is kind of got a little indention around there, so I can get up under the fingers a little bit. So let's try it. I'll let you listen. I, I not only need glasses on and a mask, I really need earplugs too, because this thing gets loud after a while. Let's try it out. I don't look too straight, does it? It was all wobbly. What's up with that?
Can't have it all wobbly if it's all wobbly. Oh, I bit. Okay. That one fits. No, it don't. I'm gonna figure this out in a minute. Hang on, don't leave me. If you leave me now. All right, I gotta find it. Hang on. The problem with this little sanding bit is all it does is melt stuff. The one about one good thing about this golf ball is it doesn't really melt. It just flakes. Now the cover melted. Get in there. What's the problemo? I seem to have a situation on my hands. Ah, there it goes. Okay, so now... I don't have music <clears throat> playing when I'm in fast forward mode. So when it goes in fast forward mode, just put your little headphones on and hum a few bars. That's great. Let's make a pretty finger. Yeah, I just realized something. First thing I realized is this doesn't fit. It doesn't fit in between the fingers. fingernails. NBA stars have big fingernails. Right? So we gotta put fingernails on them. Hold on, we'll do fingernails. Then I think we'll be done. I'm gonna have to go back with this big honker one. That's the only one I got. Need to get some more attached mounts. That's a big old thing now. That was pretty rough. I guess it ain't so bad. Just turn it down a little bit. Ooh. I got the little veins in the hands. But I started to make it like mine, but then I realized NBA players' hands aren't as old as mine. They get that little color red off of that. Let me clean up. I'll be right back and show it. So now. I'm going to put the. Uh, the bottom on it. There it is. And what you want to do is make sure it sits flat. With no strings attached. Good enough, huh? Now you gotta decide how you want your little hand on the ball to sit. I'm thinking like that. So your hole's gonna go right there. Doesn't have to be a deep hole. 
<laughs> Listen to me like I'm teaching you how to do something. There's the hole. Then we'll put it right through the A. Then, take this off. Put this on. And get one little screw. And you gotta go up through the hole. This one is really flimsy. This golf ball cover I'm talking about. And once you poke out the other side, then you put it right in the hole. Like that. And you gotta hold both of them. And go slow. If you go too far, you'll smash it. And you'll make a big hole. How's it look? There it is. I know it's kind of yellow in here a little bit. But what do you think? Does it look like a basketball? I think you should get some black. Or get a, uh, a black like the sharpie and like outline that and then uh, get a black uh, orange sharpie and color the ball orange. Color the ball. Well I thought about that but I kind of like it all natural -ish. Or you It looks like just, a big piece of chewing gum. Or you can just get the uh, sharpie and just outline the ball. With little black lines. Mm -hmm. That's that. a possibility. We may stop right here though but I got some news. This is my youngest. You can't see him because it's so dark in here. Come down into the light. He is going to start a channel. Aren't you? Mm -hmm. He is uh, a lot better looking than I am. And he yeah, has some adventures he wants to share. We haven't figured out how to do it yet because I don't know how to do it. Like on YouTube where we're all linked together because he is not 18 yet. He is, how old are you? 17 and a half? <laughs> you know, 17 and a half. He's 10. He's a onesie and a zero. Anyway, more details coming. Thanks for watching. I know this is uh, may not be very exciting, but it's kind of cool. I got all inspired when I got the uh, the button biters and the marble munchers and the, and the necklaces. Making the sugar glider. And the sugar. Where's the sugar glider? It's in our room. We gotta go check it out. We're gonna go check out the sugar glider and then we're done. Little camp. Here's the sugar glider. I did outline it for him so he could see it after it was carved. That's how they fly. They kind of fly with their legs and stuff wide open. So that's his little sugar glider. So that's his favorite animal, sugar gliders. Pretty cool. Alright, thanks for watching our videos. Say bye.